Good morning, it's Maggie here again. I'm going to do a short what's in my bag and a, and a quick um, viewing of something else that I have to show you. Um, my bag is a long handled, long champ le pliage bag. It's the large version. This part here is leather as the handles are also. The rest of the body of the bag is vinyl. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic bag. Um, it's holding up really, really well. It's quite roomy, um, and, but it's not overly heavy, even when you put a lot of stuff. I've got a, some, a small to medium amount of items in here, but I'm going to show you those right now. So when you open it up, the zip pull has, can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see it that well. It's a long bouchon symbol. Opens up to one big area like that. Does have a small pocket right there, but I haven't actually got anything in that at the moment. Usually I put um, mints or tissues or something in that, but I've got another pouch which I'll show you which carries all those things at the minute. So let's dig in. I'm going to comb. Okay little pencil case with a couple of pens in there, nothing exciting because I've been using them because I'm studying. So they're at my office presently, but it's nice and fluffy, cute. Um, mints, which are supposed to be in that little um, pouch, but they're not. A impulse body spray. I always carry some sort of body spray or something on me. I have a little coin purse, which has random coins in it because um, I get so many little five cent pieces here, the one, the smallest de denomination we have in Australia, but they're a pain in the neck. 10 cent pieces, 20 cent pieces, so I carry those excess ones in that little pouch in my bag because it's annoying to have so many coins. So I end up with heaps. This is um, a pouch that I, so it's sort of like an all-purpose pouch because I put whatever is running loose in my bag into my pouch so, um, you know, when you're in a hurry, you don't have to scurry around looking for stuff and never finding it, especially as it's dark. I actually made this one. <clears throat> it's, um, I was practicing, trying to learn how to sew and I thought I'd make a couple of things, which I did. In here, I've got tissues. Couple of packs of tissues. I have a I, when I made this, I put an extra pocket on the inside so you can put random things in there. I've actually got a magnifying glass, so if I need to see anything up close, it's handy to have. Um, some concealer. I haven't actually opened it yet. Pen, pens, there's a few pens in here. A lippy, so like, it's like a nude color almost. It's actually called, yes, Cool Nude, it's called. It's number five in the essence range. It's quite nice. This gives a hint of colour, but nothing else. Some powder, face powder, another lippy, a mascara, a uh, eyebrow brush, because I'm blonde. My eyebrows are really blonde, so I darken them. And then it has a torch. I love this torch. I won't blind you, but I'll just show you it's quite a strong torch. So that's pretty much it in there. That's one pouch. I have another little pouch which is a uh, Vera Bradley one as you can see. It's I think this colour was called Tulip Tulip something like that. I, I think it is actually because um, I've got a couple of things matching this. Um, inside this one it this one is a hand sanitizer. Gorgeous, this one. It's called Peach and Fig. I have a compact, just a mirror compact, which is handy for touching up when you want to 
Um, if you're going out and you want to quickly touch up your makeup, I have a USB stick. And I have some tangled headphones, but I will get to those and untangle them when I need to use them again. At the moment I don't, so they just sit in there so I know where they are. And it sits in my bag as well. I have, excuse the noise, because they are quite noisy, my keys on the lanyard. I've got my car key, petrol key, uh, house key, a chub lock key, which we don't use. I have my gorgeous little owl that my daughter bought me. It's still going strong. It sits on my key three. And then finally, oh, I do have one box of mints, which I haven't opened yet. It's the same brand Eclipse. Now, finally, I have <clears throat> my wallet. It's a Finsbury Philofax in the pocket size, so it's a, the Fun Effects is the brand, Finsbury's the style, it's a pocket size which uh, tells you the size, um, I think they have a range of mini, pocket, personal, maybe A5 and A4 or something like that, anyway this is a really good size as a wallet, it's perfect for me, um, I've got fairly small hands but it fits quite well. Um, so it's beautiful leather, it's like a, it is a raspberry colour, although it's a light raspberry. Um, if you saw my other video, you'll see that the difference in the Pennybridge raspberry, which I have one, and this raspberry, which is leather, admittedly, but it's a lighter colour. But it's quite nice, I love it. I love the pebbled feel of it. And as I said, um, this is brand new, so in time it will soften. You know, ask me in six months' time and I'll tell you how I'm going. In fact, I might do a, a review video in six months and say, well, either the pros and cons or if this is working or it's not working for me. At the moment, um, I'm really happy with it. Can you see those tomatoes in the back there from our garden? So I've got to cook them up. So when you open it up, you have your cards. I've done, I've done the video on this, so I'm not going to go into detail. Um, you know, I've got my cards in there. Random notes, budget, spelling, uh, sorry, a savings tracker there. <clears throat> the top opening pockets to put bits and pieces in. There's one for money that I can put money in there if I wanted to. I don't need to, but if I wanted to. And a section for coins at the top here, the pen loop, which we talked about last night. So far it's working, but I haven't had it all that long, so we'll get to know. And this top bit, which I love, because that's got a really big area for your cards and receipts and stuff like that. So I'm very happy with this wallet so far. I bought it a while ago and I just put it aside, thinking whether I was going to use it or not, and decided I would get into it. So that's why I'm in it now. But, so that's the, sorry, the Filofax Pocket Finsbury in the Raspberry. This is the other one I wanted to show you. If you watched my video last night, you would have um, heard me say that I have another uh, wallet that's almost like the um, <coughs> Penny Bridge, but not quite. Well, this is it, and I haven't used it as you, as you can see. I'll keep this one probably for next summer. It's going into winter here now in Australia. This is called a Filofax Safiano Compact, and it's in the luscious aquamarine colour. So it's almost a sea green, a sea green. it's beautiful. But it, aquamarine is a blue colour, but I don't know if you can see that. It's reasonably close to colour, what you're seeing on the screen. It's pretty good, but it's beautiful. It, again, it's not leather, but it's a really, really nice quality. Um, so in essence, Penny Bridge has this outside pocket as I showed you last night. This one does as well. The same size, exactly the same size as the Penny Bridge. Zips around, opens out like that. Inside, one side is like the Penny Bridge in a sense. This side doesn't have the pocket, the card pocket places here. It has one on the back there. So that part's all the same apart from 
the having the pockets on here and on the other side. They're only at the back there. But when you open this up on the other side, where there was just one pocket, if you'll see my video, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's two lots of pockets here for the car. So one there on the back wall, and then on one with this wall facing. Another pocket here, an elasticized part there, which I assume you would put your phone in, but I can't do that because I'm filming. Um, yeah, but the funny part about this one is, you know, if you saw my video, you'd see that my husband took the rings out of the binder because I didn't really want it. This one, I think I invented it, you know, because this one comes out. It's a bit awkward. I want to stuff it up. There you go, it's out. So then you're left with that. If you didn't want to use that, it just comes in as that. But you can put it back. Isn't that amazing? I thought that was amazing. I thought, what a good idea. So, because we'd done it on, on my um, Penny Bridge. So that's the um, compact Saffiano. It's a zip organizer in the Aquamarine. And I think this supersedes the, um, I think they've got another one coming out, but I think the Penny Bridge was first and then this one, and then whatever's coming out next. They've sort of updated them and modernized them a bit, but I think that's fantastic. So I haven't used it yet, it's going to stay in its box here for the moment until I um, get around to using it, I suppose, but it might run through it with the pocket size Finsbury, that's what I'm using and I'll stay with you using this until I get sick of it, I guess. But get back to me in the next couple of weeks because hopefully my personal chameleon will have arrived in black and I'm going to set that up as my uh, planner. So until then... Have a great weekend and we'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.